In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Devin Booker and how he shoots the basketball and how he's able to get and create space between himself and his defender. If you're looking to be able to create more open shots for yourself, this is definitely the video for you. Let's get down. Let's check out Devin Booker. Also, check out Jason Souza 23 on eBay. He just sent me a couple of Al Harrington cards, and I want to say thank you to him. Let's get down. Let's check out Devin Booker. Okay, so in this first play, he's coming off of a quick screen. When he comes off of that screen, he's able to put up that shot really quickly on his defender. How is he able to do this? So as soon as he's coming off that screen, he has shot in his mind. What's he do really quickly? Well, he goes left, right really quick. A small little stutter step just so that he can slow down his momentum just enough to be able to get off this shot. He then grabs that ball from the pass, he goes left, right. Now when he does this left, right with his feet, he takes a very large step left, right. So when he comes off of this, he's able to then go down onto his toes, not his heel or flat footed, onto his toes on his right foot so that he's able to get up straight up into his shot. So that when he goes into his shot, he doesn't drift sideways all that much. He goes straight up with his shot and then he kicks slightly his right leg out so that he can get his right side in line. He does land split foot, but that's totally okay. He does jump quite a bit forward from where he took off from, but he was able to get up super high. When you've got a defender who is basically barreling down on you coming off of a screen, you want to be able to create as much space as you can. And if you don't have that much space, you want to get up high into your shot so you can get that shot off without getting blocked. And notice also that he doesn't change his shooting form at all. When he goes up, he has that ball in line with his elbow and his shoulder and elbow in line with the rim so that he can make this shot. He doesn't change his shot form at all, whether he's coming off of a screen like this or if he's pulling up for a straight on jump shot it doesn't matter so in this next clip he's coming from the baseline he does a quick stutter towards that sideline and then he goes through his legs and he looks like he's about to attack that right side when he does attack he takes two dribbles quick step back with a dribble and that's able to create some space so that he can get that shot he's able to do this because when he attacks that basket he keeps his shoulders below Gobert's Gobert is a very good defender when he does quickly attack he does a snatch back through his legs now if you're going right hand through left foot as a snatch back that's extremely difficult however when he takes this step back he takes an extra dribble so that he can get even more distance between him and Rudy Gobert and then when he goes up for a shot again nothing changes everything is in line and he's able to get that shot off and of course it goes in now this next shot is a floater but here he's sizing up his defender he gets his defenders down onto their heels this is extremely deadly when this happens to a defender when Devin Booker then attacks he keeps his shoulders below his defenders shoulders that way he's able to become quicker and more agile he then lowers his shoulders slightly but he keeps his body in line to be able to create that contact he takes his two steps he does his two steps when that player starts to reach in that way he's not going to be getting the ball stripped from him he's able to then go up watch this regular shot shoulder elbow in line just like a floater right in perfect right off that top corner of that square you need to know how to use that backboard but also know how to freeze your defenders as well as we can see here double through the leg crossover gets the defenders down onto their heels and then he's able to attack now when he does that attack he does a quick hop when he does this hop it goes right left why is this important well this right step is basically a zero step or that step where you're pushing off from that's going to give you even more momentum towards your basket towards your shot whatever you're going to be looking to do he also uses his off arm to try and clear out any arms if there is any arms trying to reach in he is then trying to clear out those arms so that he can get by them 
And then when he goes into that attack, he's using his upper arm and shoulder to be able to clear out just a little bit more space so that he can go up. And when he goes up for his shot, he does get slightly hit right there, but he's going up with two hands, which is extremely important. You want to go two hands until the last second where you're about to go for that shot so that you don't lose that ball. A very underrated thing that Devin Booker does also is when he's coming down into the half court offense, if there's a player playing on his hip, he's going to be using that to his advantage. He's going to come to a two footed jump stop right in front of that defender and he's going to go up for that shot. Now that defender acts like he's trying to flop, but when it comes down to it, that's a foul on that defender. He does make that shot. But the reason why this is useful is you can do this not just in this situation. You could have been attacking towards the basket, done a quick jump stop in front of your defender who's following you, go up for that shot, and you're going to get that and one. Here we can see an even better close-up where he stops, jump stop, no, nah, that's not a three-point shot, but... Too bad he couldn't get two inches back farther, but because he is able to come to a jump stop in front of his defender, that defender is not going to be able to stop in time. That defender is going to run into Devin Booker, and that allows him to make that shot. Now this next move is fantastic. So here he's able to attack that basket and he notices that he's got two defenders on him when he's attacking the basket. Now this could happen to you if you're getting double teamed or this may happen if the other team is running what looks to be a 2-3 zone defense and you've got your corner or wing defender trying to defend you at the same time as that center defender and when you do that snatch back as we can see here we'll rewind it just a bit he does that quick snatch back behind the back that makes that center defender watch the key because there's other players like Aiton who are coming down into the key because of that he now loses one defender he still has one defender left whose momentum is now bringing him towards Devin Booker. Devin Booker's now at the advantage because now he can cross back over and he can attack that top foot because that defender's momentum is taking him this way plus attacking the top foot is basically allowing him to have that baseline. And when that happens, he's able to take only one dribble. You really want to limit your dribbles. After that cross, only one dribble from the three-point line. I don't care if you're 10 years old, you should be able to attack the basket from the three-point line, maybe not the NBA three, but from the high school three, you should be able to attack one dribble from the three. And if you can, one dribble, that's going to allow you to get to the basket. Now, this isn't a shot. This is a dunk, but it's the same idea. He could have easily dribbled up, done a quick snatch back, done another quick step back to a three down here, but instead he decided to attack because it's in this case sometimes a higher percentage shot when there's really no reason to shoot a three at this point in time. He can attack that rim and go up for that dunk and maybe even an and one if a player wanted to try and block his dunk. Devin Booker is also very good at dribbling and attacking that baseline and going up for that baseline jumper. Now the reason why he's able to do this is because he's a very quick player, but we can see here with his footwork, he's able to hop off his right foot, go left, right. Now with his right foot, it's actually behind his left, and he's able to then bring that right foot around to be able to straighten out his shot. Now without that right leg kick, he wouldn't be able to get his upper arm in line with the basket and that would have made a miss. But with that right leg kick, he's able to make that shot at a high percentage. Now this is going to be a good move that you could use in a game, however I just want to really break this down. Today, the NBA is changing the rules where if you are the offensive player forcefully making offensive contact with the defender it is now going to be a foul on you it's no longer going to be a foul on the defender so if your league hasn't changed its rules as of yet so nfhs does have a rule that you cannot make offensive contact with the defender as an example then you wouldn't be able to do this however if you're playing in a house league or any other league that may allow this kind of contact then you can do it but keep in mind that when you see this in the nba this year you're going to be seeing a lot of offensive fouls being called now there's a move called putting your defender in jail. Here we can see Norman Powell trying to fight over top of a screen and then Devin Booker basically cuts him off putting the defender in jail. This is what I'm talking about by stopping in front of your defender. So Norman Powell decides to fight over top of the screen instead of fighting underneath. It may have been a better option with 
his other defender who may have been able to help out if there was a jump shot. However, we see Norman Powell fighting over top, and whenever that happens, if you're a player like Devin Booker or just the ball handler in general, and you can see that your player goes over top of that screen, try to cut off that player from getting back in front of you, keep him behind you, and then you can go up for that shot and get that and one. I hope that this video helps you become a better basketball player. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.